Hey everyone, welcome to Zen A62. One of the big races tomorrow is California Assembly District 15, and that comprises Oakland, Berkeley, basically the North East Bay Area, if you will, for the most part. There are 12 people running for one seat in Assembly District 15, which is currently held by Tony Thurman, who's running for State Superintendent of Public Instruction. But of them, Buffy Wicks, who's a longtime Obama aide, someone I know, and longtime Richmond City Council member Giovanna Beckles, have emerged from a Google Trends perspective as the front runners. That's right, it's hard to find a reliable poll. The one that has been referred to by media media, media outlets, excuse me, it is one that, interestingly enough, was commissioned by. Berkeley City Councilmember Ben Bartlett's own campaign. So it's it's hard to really get a handle on who's got the hold on what on this, but if you take a look at Google Trends, it does give you an idea, and that would appear to be Buffy Wicks and Giovanna Beckles. Now, this is a test for Google Trends, and the reason I say it is from perspective of national races and even a state race, like governor. Because so many people use Google, you can get a really good handle on what people are thinking about and who they're searching for and what they're doing with respect to an election race like, like that, right? But with a local election, it's a different animal. The reason is that you may have a situation like we have in this instance where Ben Bartlett's local city council member for Berkeley Dan Kalb is council member for Oakland. And so they have large constituencies which know them well and are consist of likely voters who, because they know them well, don't need to do a lot of searching to learn about them, right? They pretty much know in their mind what they're going to do. But that's not true in this instance for a newcomer, and it's particularly not true in the case of Wicks. Buffy has outraised all the other candidates. So when you combine that amount of money with her being an unknown and the desire to pe for people to know about her, what you get are these giant spikes of interest. It just so happens that such search spikes commonly translate, particularly on the state and national level, into wins for that particular candidate. It was true for Obama, it was true for Trump, it was true for Hillary Clinton in California. But will it be true for Buffy, Buffy Wicks or Giovanna Beckles, who's the current front runner, come Tuesday? Now, I have to explain that Beckles and Wicks have had gigantic swings. As I, uh, Beckles, in from the period of, um, May 6 to May 12th, Beckles was at 40, and then she dropped to zero from May 13th through May 19th, and after that, come May, starting May 30th, uh, May 20th, excuse me, and then to June 2nd, she went to 73. She zoomed. During that entire period, however, Buffy was at um, she was momentarily at zero, but so were the other candidates except Julie Apple. And then she went to, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. And then she went to 55, then 28, but still in the lead. And then climbed, as you can see, to 100 before falling to 58. But more times than not, she's been ahead, and that's now through the campaign. If you look back through the campaign in the past, it's been Bartlett, if you take a look at the yellow lines, who's had the lead more often than not. Which begs the question, so for a local election, do you count the number of peaks before, or do you go with what voters start to do when we get close to election day. The 
The studies say that you should go and look at what the voters do a day or two before election day in terms of search as a determinant for what the voters are going to do. In the case of someone like Ben Bartlett or Dan Kalb, they are council members. And so those searches are intertwined with their activities as elected officials for a smaller constituency than the total number of people that represent California Assembly District 15. So it could be a fooler, right? So it's a good idea to go for the, yeah, I would say the five day period or less in there. Right now, it looks like it's either Wix or Beckles or Beckles or Wix at this point. But it's going to be a real test of Google Trends. If Beckles and Wix win, then it's, a, it's not just a proof that Google Trends works to predict a candidate's success at the local level. It's also a measure of what the candidate is or is not doing to get themselves known in what we call the attention economy, right? All right, stay tuned. Please subscribe to Zenny62. Thank you.